Welcome to Joe's Astrology and this is a birth chart with no time this is not correct Capricorn rising it's just the uh, just the birthday and this is the great Mejdi Zakarawi and you don't know who Mejdi Zakarawi is and no one who see this, sees this will know who he is he is an African immigrant that I was really good friends with for a while I could tell you, I'll tell you pieces of the story. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. Uh, he's from Tunisia. He was here for, he came to the United States for probably, he's probably here for 15, 20 years. Uh, illegally. Never got citizenship. And... He is a Leo moon and a sun in Scorpio. It was a stellium in Scorpio, and I'm going to look at this first. Okay? I'm going to look at this first. Stellium in Scorpio, sun, Uranus, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. And he also has Venus retrograde in Scorpio. Conjunct Mars and Mercury. Now, he came here to the United States, and he was all about money. In fact, that's how, I met, that's how I met him. A friend of mine a friend of mine met him, and uh, this is early on when he probably didn't speak good English, and he introduced me to him, and he uh, told me he was he basically led me to a job. So he was working a job. He was working in the pizza industry. And he had a Mustang. He had a convertible Mustang. So we're going to look at two things here. He was all about the money. That's why he was here. You see that stellium and Scorpio, Venus retrograde. He had this convertible Mustang, and he used to go to this club. I think this is where they met. Uh, he used to go to this club called Odyssey. It was an under-18 or under-21 club. At the time, he was probably he was probably twenty, twenty one. I don't know how he would have got in if he was older than twenty one. But he he was young. Let's say that it was he was definitely young, and uh, he was all about this club. So he was all about the club and the lifestyle, the money. You see that with Scorpio, the sex symbol. If you don't know anything about Tunisia. Uh, at least back then, I'm pretty sure it was very strict. No, no alcohol. And this is another thing: no alcohol, no cigarettes that I know of, or at least from his his perspective, he didn't he didn't uh, do drugs. But big alcohol guy. And as as time went on, you're, I'll, I'll, you'll see maybe if I explain it more. Very much a daily drinker, alcoholic, smoker. Smoked two packs of cigarettes a day. Uh, but we see there with that Uranus Mercury conjunction as well. Like a very, very cool guy. Very, very cool. Like um, very open minded. He, he just was fascinated by the United States culture. And. You know, with that Uranus Mercury too, and Uranus Uranus Sun, he wasn't a, he wasn't afraid of progressiveness, like very I say like very open minded and and welcoming and um, freedom seeking. That was another thing, like very excited about his freedom, like he loved the United States. He loved that that phrase of. The idea, or the idea of being a free country, you know, the United States, the, the, the brave and the free. Loved capitalism, loved the idea of um, be, being able to go out there and earn a living. And despite all of this and all the challenges and, and all of the challenges of the future, to, to the last day, he still wanted to stay here. He got deported eventually after that many years. He, he was deported. And, and a couple of times he reached out to me. He still wanted to come back. 
and uh, no longer, and also no longer, just a little side note, no longer an alcoholic. I don't think he smokes anymore. Looked completely different when I saw him. We went back to Tunisia and uh, assimilated back into the Tunisian culture. And before coming to the United States, he was, you know, he was all over Italy, France, uh, really an explorer. Uh, and just really want to point, really want to harp on this money thing because he was all about the culture, as I said, and um, you know, really talked up the United States for for that. And uh, let's see what else we have here. We have South Node in Pisces, uh, and it's ruled by Neptune. Coming back to this Sagittarius. And Mars. So where he's coming from here, the south node of Pisces, the dreamer, uh, someone who's can be, um, you know, an escape escapist, a traveler, someone who might be find himself lost, lost through all of this. And he definitely, and we can see the ruler. Uh, we can look at the ruler Neptune. It has that Mars, that intrepidness, and the Sagittarius. Uh, aspect and we're going to look at Mars and Jupiter here as well uh, or Mars Neptune and see more of this uh, you know someone who is going to go come from a place who's going out and searching traveling uh, exploring etc really wish I had the birth time but I haven't spoken to him for a while um, so we see here Neptune, we come to this Neptune and Mars is in a balsamic phase making a, uh, well, moving, moving, as life goes on, it's, we could say it's moving towards Neptune. And we have Venus, the planet of money, moving towards that Mars. Again, retrograde really emphasis with that emphasize with that retrograde, showing he's redoing something here. And I would suspect that if he's still young, you know, some point in the life this is going to come back around. But here we have Neptune, and it's trining a Jupiter Moon conjunction. Now, I don't really know exactly how close it is because again, I don't have the time. It's in Leo. It's probably it's probably close. It's probably in that Sagittarius Deccan. So we see more. Uh, this harmonious energy between Neptune and the Moon and Jupiter with that trine. Uh, and I would, you know, looking really looking at this Leo Moon, it was very fun. You could say that. I wouldn't say he didn't really have much of the selfish, or the, I should say selfish, but the negative attributes of the Leo Moon. He was very fun and outgoing, uh, very fiery in that sense. And we see that squaring the Uranus-Mercury uh, conjunction. He could be a little bit too too fun, especially you know when he started drinking. He would just say things that he shouldn't say. It's going to be interesting here now that I see that. We see that the square to the Uranus, so it's like having an Aquarius moon. And I sometimes, or often, I'll say some things that are inappropriate. Uh, and... For the situation maybe or for the people involved and he uh, definitely when he got drunk he would say many many things uh, which I'm not going to mention um, you think of like a, a, a social pariah and he was definitely a social pariah for his culture that Uranus and Moon One of these planets, you think of the idea of being ostracized. I'm not sure which one it is, if it's Uranus or Neptune. Uh, but he was he could have been ostracized at a young age for for some of these things in his culture in Tunisia. We see here he has Saturn moving Saturn moving towards the north node in Virgo. Which is interesting because, uh, you know, like I said, this Pisces, where he's coming from, where he's headed, 
he eventually did go back to his country. And I would suspect that early on he did, like I said, he, he, he must have done a lot of traveling early on before his 20s uh, with that south node in Pisces. And you can see where he's headed, the north node with Saturn there. He, he did eventually go back to Tunisia. He's been there for at least, oh, uh, had to be, has to be at least 12, 13 years now. And I would say Tunisia is representative of Saturn. It's very Saturnian from especially relatively speaking to to what he experienced and um you know that's where he's at now and i suspect he will stay there because he tried to come back a couple times he couldn't make it happen and i haven't heard from him since but with that saturn there uh really having to the other thing is the interesting thing is it's not just that I suspect that if he did came, he did want to, he did come, make it back. He would work really hard. Like you have that idea of work with Virgo. He was a hard worker. He was working. Uh, he he was working seven days a week for a long, 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 long time, drinking as well and smoking like seven days a week. And I don't know how he did it, but he had. Uh, you know, it's super skinny. This is the idea of Virgo. Like he got really skinny, and. Uh, I mean, as long as I knew him, he was super skinny. And so we see this this work, this work ethic, um, possible health issues with the with the weight and Saturn there, but now really playing out as um, not getting to live in a Iranian culture as much of a Iranian culture as the United States is. As I, as I was saying, if he did come back, I think he would come back for work and for more money. Even though in his mind it would be for the fun. Let's see if there's anything else here. Could say as Neptune in a square to those nodes. Yeah, and interesting with the Neptune, the square, the Venus retrograde, really looking for a guy like, again, even though he might not be aware of it, really looking for his place in life when it comes to work, working out his health, uh, his mental health. And I do think he has come to a better place of health. And you could see that as like kind of like being forced to find that. Um, you can see this new phase to Pluto with all the Scorpio, like kind of jumping out the gate, coming to the United States, traveling, etc., and then eventually coming back to this Virgo. Because you see this, this all this energy is trining that Pisces. Um, but there's an indication of going back and forth, and I think that's where you see him trying to uh, move into that Scorpio and Pisces, and I and. I'm just really speaking for his time here at the United States. Um, I'm sure he's gotten to a healthier point in Tunisia. Lots of Scorpio. To speak more in the Scorpio, this is the last thing I'm going to say. And you see this Pluto sextile, the moon. Very, very much into women, sexual things, etc. Not afraid to speak out about that as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very interesting guy. And I hope this uh, video has given you some interesting things to learn about. And I hope that you have a great day.